Richie, thanks for joining us. I'd imagine you're disappointed with the way in which both goals were conceded. Yeah, really poor goals. First one's obviously a mistake, um, but second one, organisation. The angle of approach by our man who, who goes for short corners was poor. Um, and then we don't pick up when they get first and second contact. If you lose two contacts at this level, you're probably going to concede a goal. So two poor goals against a really good team, good outfit. Um, but if you're going to concede goals, say, you'd rather be of quality goals, pass through you or moments of magic rather than really, just really, really poor goals. Because you started so brightly, creating an early chance and had a penalty appeal. Dave, we start brightly and every foot, but it's tippy tappy. And it's great, OK, we're playing one, two, nice, 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 nice. We don't cross the ball, we don't have... Play. So when they counter, or when they have good pieces of play, they finish with a shot, they finish with a cross, they finish with a goalkeeper after making a save, because they've got good players. We're interested in getting 15, 20 passes in our final third. Instead of, OK, we've, we've made someone pass it now, they're facing forward, cross the ball, put it in the box, play pass people, run. We don't have a centre forward that is demanding the ball in the box. If I was playing a centre forward today and we did, we've got all them good opportunities, cross the ball. And we don't have it. We don't have it. It's the biggest deficiency in our team. Our goal scoring, we've got close to the playoffs. And I probably knew this was coming. Um, well, I did know it was coming. We scored one in five, two in five, including today, and we've just fell short. Dan Ajay, good to see him back on the pitch. And he came close in that second half. Yeah, we had two free headers from the six-yard box. And Dan, like I say, he is he is a threat. Um, we can only play him ten minutes today. So I'm pleased for him that he's back. Um, I'm just disappointed that he should have probably come back and and the games are going to fizzle out and like I said I, I probably knew this end of the season was coming and it frustrates the life out of me Ethan Gilbert took his goal well Very good performance excellent performance um, we've obviously lost Pratt's for illness Eddie through Eddie's going to be out for four months so when you lose your two physical players in the middle of midfield I could probably pick a second 11 today we'll beat that starting 11 that's how, how mad it is how are we going to approach the remaining four games Four games. Is it four? Was it five? I'm losing. Or five. Sorry. Um, with professionalism, with a desire to win, a desire to do things properly. Because I'm always judging the players. You know, we just lack little things. Little things. That, how many times we get counted from the edge of the box? How many count, times do we get counted? Because we have young midfield players that just don't sense danger, that are on the forward momentum as the ball's breaking when you can't be. Um, and they've got good players. They've learned that. They've. They've obviously got done last year at the, at the last hurdle in terms of being fallen up and getting done by Sheffield Wednesday. Um, and you learn. They've play, got players that play the championship. They've got a, a lot. I mean, the centre half, so Rolls Royce bring it out from causes the most problems. Once you, we didn't get the press right with the centre half, and he rolls out and, and brings it out. Someone has to jump and it causes a lot of problems. But I like them. I like them. They're a good outfit. I watch them at the end. They come over. Do you know what they've done? They walked over. They clapped the supporters. They thank him for travelling. Thank him for the support. And they got off. Next game at Wembley. I've seen two of our positions in the, in the last six weeks come in the fist pump and everything. Burton come here and fist pump, they've lost seven in the bounce since. And I think it's embarrassing that teams do it. Really like them. Top manager, top outfit, good players, go over, clap the supporters, my professional next game, get off. So congratulations to them. Home again on Saturday and Cheltenham from a winning position lost today. They need the points. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think Cheltenham away was a turning point from our season. Um... And I think at home they're very, very, very effective, but away it's different dimension. The pitch there is very small. The way that they play, so they'll be fighting for their lives. And, and listen, we've got a, we just have to stay honest. You know, there's a lot of players that are out for contract, and a lot of them at the moment are 50, 50, 60, 40. So I do think we need we need more quality in the squad. We squeezed every single ounce out of these players, you know. And I'm tired. I'm tired because I think I've done a good job, but you can only squeeze so much. You know, I think I, I think we just lack. We've obviously lacking the, the injuries. That's frightening. You, know, you put Dan up. You put Eddie. You put Prattley. You put Jordan Green. You put Theo. You put, <sighs> take their take their best six players out of theirs, and it, and it costs you. So, it's so frustrating because I think we, we had a chance of a top six finish. I didn't. Think, I don't think the league's great this year, and um, I'm absolutely gutted that we fall short.